Good day everyone. Welcome to Learn with MN. In this video, we will discuss the next path creating tool, that is the Bezier Pen Tool. The tool with the pen icon having a node and handle here is the Bezier Pen Tool. You can also select it via the shortcut key B. As a beginner, you may find it complex, but with practice, soon you will enjoy using it for creating your illustrations. It is similar to the pen tool of Adobe Illustrator. If you have worked in it, it will be easier for you to get a grip on it, but don't worry if you are a complete beginner. With Bezier tool, you can create fine and neat paths with more control and ease as compared to a freehand tool like the pencil tool. Let's start with the simplest. Left click to create the first node of the path. As you move the mouse, you drag out a straight line that you can create of any length or in any direction like this. Click again to set another point. Repeat this for as many nodes as you want to draw. The finalized path between nodes is represented with blue lines, and the red line shows the active path whose second node position is not determined yet. Now, to finish the path, right-click with the mouse or double-click at the finishing point. When you complete the path, the shape created will get its stroke. By default, the width of the stroke for the Bezier tool is one pixel with black color. But it is not permanent, you can change it later from the fill and stroke settings. If you click on this node and draw a new path, then this will join the new path with the previous one like this, in other words, it will continue the path. Similarly, if you join these nodes with a new path, this will make it a closed path. You can also make a new drawing that starts and ends at the same point to form a closed path like this. If you are drawing and found that it is not right and don't want to be created on canvas, then press the escape key, this will cancel the whole drawing. Or in some cases, if you don't like the last node position, then press the backspace or delete key to reset the last node instead of canceling the whole drawing. You can press it again to reset another one and so on. Now, let's take it further by making a simple curve. Every node we create has two handles. We have discussed paths, nodes, and their handles in the previous videos. If you haven't watched them, please do check them, their link is in the description and the i button. These handles define the shape of a curve. Now, to draw a simple curve, left click, hold and drag on canvas, don't release it yet. The square point here, where I click, becomes the node of the curve. While holding, as I move the cursor, you'll see a blue line with a circle at the end. This is the handle of the node. Currently, we are moving one handle of the node. Now, release the click and drag to form a curve. A red line will show you the shape of the curve. To finish the curve, double click at any desired point. If your curve has a fill, don't worry, just go below here and click this cross, this sets the fill to none. Next, after the curve, if you want a straight line, then what to do? For this click, hold and drag, release to form a curve. Now, for the next straight line simply click and release as we did previously and it will form a straight line like this and end it as you like with a double click. Now, let's move to multiple curves together. Click, hold and drag to set one handle of that node. Release it and adjust the first curve. After that, click, hold, and drag again to form your second curve. When happy double click to finish it. Let's try it one more time. Click, hold and drag. For the second, click, hold, and drag. Again, click, hold and drag to form another, and so on. So, that's how the Bezier tool works in Inkscape. This allows you to easily create any illustration or trace any shape. Even if you have some misplaced nodes, you can always edit them using the node tool here. That's the beauty of this tool, it is much more powerful when used with the node tool. Now, let us discuss different options in the tool control bar. There are five different drawing modes for creating paths with the Bezier tool. The first one that we were using the whole time is used to draw regular Bezier paths. The next mode is Spiro mode. This mode is used to draw spirals and curls. This mode is very useful with the Bezier tool. First, select it to enable this mode. 
Now, if I click multiple points in different places, you will see it automatically forms smooth spirals or curves depending upon where points are placed. You can make very cool stuff using it. For example, this type of spiral can be created very easily using this mode. Just make nodes, like this, and there you have it. If you need any edits just use the node tool to make it better. Just like that. Now, it looks perfect. You can change its stroke width from the fill and stroke tab. You can also make its ends round like this and change its color and so on. The third mode is the B-spline mode. This mode makes the sharp corner edges into rounded smooth curves. For example, if I draw spikes like this, it has made its corners rounded and makes it a smooth wave. This mode makes it easier to draw smooth curves and you can always edit them with the help of the node tool. The next mode is for the straight line segment. It is the same as the default, except that this mode restricts drawing only straight lines. Even if you click, hold and drag, it will not draw a curve. It is useful for making straight line art without the worry of any curves. The last mode is to create a sequence of paraxial line segments. In this mode, line segments are created parallel to the coordinate axis like this. Each line segment is drawn perpendicular to the previous segment. When a path is drawn, by default, square is drawn at both ends. It can be changed by using the shape option. We have discussed them in detail in pencil tool video, you can find its link in the description and the i button. Let's go through them here briefly. By default, none is selected. When none is enabled, the drawn path's outline will be of the same width. Here are some built-in shapes. For example, if we select a triangle in, it will make the path thinner where it ends. If we select triangle out, it makes thinning where the path begins. This makes the path look a little more elegant. You can also adjust its width by setting its value here. Less value makes it thin, and greater makes it wider. This width can also be adjusted using the node tool. When you switch to the node tool, you will find a pink node. This node adjusts the width of the path. Next is the ellipse. It is a combination of both triangle in and out. This makes a path with thin ends and wider middle, like this. For the next three, you can refer to the pencil tool video. The Bezier tool can also draw clean dots. But, for this, the drawing mode must be a straight line segment. So, first, select this mode and let us zoom in so you can see the dots. Holding control and left click on canvas makes a dot. Control makes dots of the same size each time you click. If you combine shift with control and then left click, it doubles the size of the dot. The dot size is by default, it can be changed by going into the preferences. And, if you combine alt with control, then random size dots will be created like this. That was all for this video. In upcoming videos, we will discuss the next path drawing tool of the Inkscape in detail, so stay tuned. If you have any queries, feel free to write in the comment section or contact us on our website, its link is in the description. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon, so you don't miss any updates. Thank you for watching.